you know, since you're um, you've traveled where very few humans have ever traveled, could you and and you have a little bit of a galactic viewpoint? Could you um, give us a little insight into how vast the uh, the operation that the reptilians are doing, what they're doing to other planets and solar systems and and uh, Claudia was on earlier, and she mentioned that there was an actual war where the reptilians tried to destroy the Syrian peoples and actually put them in slavery. Do you have do you have knowledge of that? Of course, Bob. There has been many many wars in the galactic arena, but you must understand that this is astral level. Bob, life is so much bigger than just astral and physical level. Now, it may appear to be huge, and it is in its own way and reality, but life is beyond what anybody can even consider. And this is what uh, William is hinting at, and I am hinting at, and Claudie is hinting at, and you, Bob, what you are hinting at, that we are, and the reptilians are just are particular, and they do have power here. But Bob, life itself is huge. It is immense beyond any consideration, ideas, or attitudes, or knowledge, or information. Bob, it's a, it's a recognition. It's a recognition. It's not knowledge. It's not belief or faith. It's more so, more so than anybody can even imagine. And this is what the real guides are here for. That is here to assist us to become more aware. And really, Bob, Bob we must, must consider this in anything that we relate to is how do we relate to this unknown reality? This, this is life, Bob. How do we relate to this unknown quality? How do we support it? How do we relate to it? This is life, Bob. This is life. Well, you know, it's you uh, bring up a very interesting point. Um, we we are living in our in our uh, I would say our entertained world, our, our world of fantasy football games and and uh, video games on our computers and tablets, and we never look up. We, we, I mean, we don't look up physically, and we don't look up spiritually. So we're kind of like, we're almost like the, like the uh, ostrich sticking our head in the, in, the, in the ground, you know, making everything go away. That's basically what we're doing, and you're saying there's, telling everybody there's so much more to life that we need to we need to knock off this stuff that doesn't matter two cents and start becoming more aware of what of how wonderful life can really be and call on the real guides to help us do that is that is that what you're saying Bob, you have nailed it there is more to life than what we know you understand, Bob, that people think they know about, uh, they, they're so self-convinced for what they know, but really there is more that they don't know that they do know. And this is where we have to help educate people to, to get beyond their personal self-convictions. This is the challenge, Bob is their self-conviction, their they, they reality that they agree to. It's, it's keeping people dumbed down. Bob, the, the fear here, the, 
people are so uh, I'm not I'm not putting people down, but they are stupid, Bob. They are just dumbed down like little insects. Uh, they need to wake up if they want to have a real life. And it is beyond uh, their personal self. They must get beyond their personal self. And this is so hard for people. Bob, they have created themselves. You must understand that they created themselves. It's not God. Not God. But they created themselves and what they are looking at as reality. And to get past that, oh boy, uh, are, are, is anybody here willing to take the risk to get past, past their own recreations? We are looking for people, Bob. We are looking for people who are brave and have courage to get beyond what they think they know. Bob, if you know anybody like that, Please, have them talk to me. Have them talk to William and, and, and Claudie, because we are looking for good people that are wanting to see more, wanting to be real people, not just people that have been marketed to and conditioned to be the so-called human. Well, you know, um, I, I am just a, a thought that just hit me really, really powerfully as you were saying that was that what people really need to do is they need to go over everything that they believe and take for granted and revisit it and say, well, d gee, do it. I mean, I believe that Jesus died for my sins. Is, is that really true? Or is that just some sort of storyline to keep me dumbed down? Um, how about uh, maybe maybe in, in the universities, which we know from William are controlled by the reptilians, whose only function in life is to keep us as human slaves and, and dumb down, maybe what they're teaching us in the universities is all a bunch of gobbledygook. And um, the religions, they, since the reptilians control every single religion, every organized religion on this planet, Maybe we need to take a, a look at that and, and revisit that and say, well, is what these religious leaders teaching us, is, that, is there any truth to that, or is there a lot more to life than what they're telling us in these religions? I mean, you know, we, 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 somebody comes up to us and says, well, you're going to live in hell for the rest of eternity unless you believe in Jesus, you know, and we buy into that. But is it really true? You know, we need... People, the humans on this planet need to wake up and revisit all these things and say, well, what if that isn't true? What else is there? There's got to be a lot more to life than just coming back here to live for a thousand years, with Je reign with Jesus for a thousand years. That can't be all of life. There's got to be a lot more. I mean, you know, there, there's we got to wake up, like you said. Boop. From our perspective, as galactic free beings of light, we see humans as headless chickens running around chasing money. They are mindless. This is not putting humans down. But you must understand that they have been brainwashed to see to be in a box a little box Bob I have traveled they call me on my planet Twitchell they call me high plains drifter and I have been traveling through many universes and planets and life levels, you must understand, there's so much out there. There's so much adventure. Planet Earth beings have lost the sense of adventure. They must regain this adventuresome spirit so they can fly again. Let their imagination go and, and 
let go of their self-imposed restrictions. Bob, this is a restrictive planet. They don't know. We must, we must assist them somehow, Bob. You're, you're doing such a fine job. We look for people like you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, thank you so much for what you do. You know what I see is you're 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 telling the human beings to to just revisit all these agreements they made and go back to your to remember back when you were a child and you had all these wonderful dreams of flying and going off into outer space and traveling the worlds of of creation and and just uh, meeting with the most wonderful uh, beings of light and. And we had all these wonderful dreams when we were when we were young, and then what happened was was we were poisoned by our drinking water and our the the poisons in our toothpaste and and all these and we're done down and our food is poisoned. Uh, we're we're brainwashed by the educational system to just be a basically to be an automaton for the reptilians. And so what you're saying, we've got to go back and remember our dreams and re revisit all those wonderful, adventurous thoughts that we had so we can just zoom across the universes and experience adventure and meet with the real guides and and just expand our lives into all of reality and not just this created hologram that they created. Uh, so, Bob... Bob, you are right on. Bob, we look for people, lights on the planet. I have found such lights. Very little, but there are some lights. Now, one of such light is running for president of the United States of America. Her name Kelsey Lynn Brown. Kelsey Lynn Brown. She is one of these lights. Now, I suspect she will not get the proper attention from uh, the mainstream media, but galactically, we see her. Other Beings in universe see her light, and we will support her. And I suggest that uh, we, we support her as well here in this level, because she will guide the children. She will support the children, and the children are the future. And she will be the one that we will the opening of opportunities to the real universes that are filled with awareness and awareness supersedes everything everything she will be presenting to the world and she is one of these real people that will be here for uh, public service, just as you, Bob. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. You know, and, and speaking of children, uh, children remember everything, and they they um, when they're young children, from the time they're old enough to start speaking up until they get poisoned by the vaccinations. They actually see a lot of what real life is about. They have all the dreams, and they see the adventures, and they meet with the real guides. And then they're poisoned by the time they're five or seven years old. They're so poisoned that they're they're all dumbed down, and then they're stuck in an educational system that brainwashes them into something that's really stupid, and, and it's a real problem. And, and I think that's wonderful that you talked about the children because we can actually use the children – it's a platform for everybody on this planet to wake up and see all the possibilities that there's so much more to life 
than we can see now after we've been dumbed down by the system. I do. See, Bob, I found Kelsey's uh, website just just for information for for listeners. www dot new n e w two party on dot strikingly dot com. So this is uh, Kelsey's website. This is one of the people we will be supporting on this planet. And as you say, children will be prominent in our attention for they see the real universes because they are sincere, they are pure, and they have potential to help the adults, the big people, to wake up and to become more aware. And this is what life is, to become more aware. Okay, would you say that website one more time? It's Kelsey Lynn Brown, and her website is... Say that one more time, please, for for everybody. www.new, N-E-W, the numeral 2, Party, T A R T Y, on O N dot strikingly, S T R I K I N G L Y dot com, C O M. It's a wonderful presidency uh, website for. 2020. Now this is the her own. She does not run with independent Democrats or Republicans, and as you know, these are reptilian organizations. This is a wise and giggly party, two-party system. Wise is one party, and giggly is the other party. But uh, Kelsey is is her own person and her own individual unique view that she will lead us into a new day for everyone on the planet. The new party on the non-system is for everyone to become more aware with no restrictions. This, 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 sounds, this should and will be a benefit for everybody. Can you um, share with people uh, any other websites where people might read about what the real guides do, where they might get more information? Yes, Bob. People may go. There are many, many websites. This, this, the New Presentation Foundation is www. Wonderful. WorldwideEducators.com people may go to is one. Now, if you go to Kelsey's website, she will have other websites as links to to what she is doing and what we are doing. Because we support you, you support us, and the main main fellow, Dwayne, the great writer, people can just Google Dwayne, the great writer, and there will be many, many links to what he has been up to since he's been here. Bob, he is a real guide. He is one of uh, the real people, and he will help everybody to see more. There's no well, information uh, out there. Many, many things. It's not hard, Bob. It's not hard. I understand that Dwayne the Great Writer has done a number of 
uh, what what he calls wake up now videos on YouTube. So do a search on YouTube for uh, Dwayne the Great Writer and Wake Up Now, and he's got a series where he introduces some of the ideas that will help people get out of their paradigm and give them a chance to revisit ideas outside of what they've been brainwashed into and give them some insight. If they would just open their eyes and listen to what Dwayne the Great Ray is saying, it will open their eyes to maybe there's a lot more to life than they've been brainwashed into believing. Of course. Our soul, our soul, as we say on the planet Pichu, our soul, our soul. Well, we're running out of time, everybody. Um, is there anybody that would like to make a last-minute comment on the show? Uh, any questions for our visitor or William? Anybody like to uh, ask anything? I've uh, we got maybe two minutes left. Well, Bob, I just want to uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity to uh, step up and uh share some of my story and uh the visitor aka the uh high plains drifter uh he's talking about some uh powerful stuff there for the humans and for the pure uh human being and uh kelsey i i hear uh i hear what he's saying about this young lady kelsey lynn brown and uh, we'll see what she's up to. And uh, I, you guys are up, of, up against a very formidable racket that my people have been running. It's, it's, it's very uh, well-oiled after the millennia. And... Uh, you know, we'll see how this works out. We'll see how this works out. And uh, Bob and uh, Cloudy and uh, everybody associated here, visitor, and uh, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to share a little bit of my story, and uh, we'll uh, do it again sometime. Well, thank you, William. I know you're putting your life at risk for even coming on and saying anything, and and uh, I I give you kudos for all the courage it took to do that, and and I hope you're uh, you're safe, you know, with your family and and your fellow uh, shape shifting reptilians of the royal families. Uh, I, I wish you the best, and I would love to have you on again sometime. And I I thank everybody else for joining us, and uh, uh, the visitor and Val, uh, thank you for uh, arranging everything for us, and I really appreciate that. And uh, Val, is there any last-minute comment you would like to make? Uh, thanks, Bob. Thanks for having the show. And just one last comment: it's okay to wake up. It really is. It's okay to wake up. Well, thank you for that. That there's there's no danger in waking up, is there? Not really. Not not in the true sense. There may be some danger for the personal self, but for the real awareness, hey, it's just an adventure. Well, we're, we've come to the uh, end of our show. We've run out of time now, and I would like uh, everybody to join me in singing New You, You, and then we will end the program. So on the count of three, everybody uh, that wants to, please sing New You, You with me, and then, then we'll hang up and end the show. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. New Thank you, Bob. Thank you.